identify which diagram represents an element that has diatomic molecules. So which one of these has, is an element where the circle and the square are different um, atoms, different types of atoms? So which one is an element that has diatomic molecules? Well, it's number two. Because you can see that each of the components of this molecule are exactly the same. So it must be an element. It's not a compound because the two parts are the same atom. So this is an element, and it's diatomic because there are two atoms connected to one in one molecule. So these are so that's a diatomic molecules. Which one is a compound? Well, I think from that explanation, it's clear which one it is. It's three, because you can see that this is different to this, and they're bonded together. So if you have two atoms that are different bonded together, you know that's a compound. So there it is, two different types of particles joined together, so you've got a compound. And lastly, an element that has monatomic molecules. So if this one and this one have already been used, it must be this one. So three identical particles, you can see that they're three identical things, so it must be an element. But they're not joined together at all, okay, you can see that, there's no joins. So they must be monatomic molecules um, of that element. Assuming each one represents one atom. So these are monatomic molecules of that element. Okay?